A local grocer is arrested for food stamp fraud. Investigators say she bought Oregon Trail cards in cash from undercover officers. KT's Megan Cox signs here, and Megan, police say she did this 19 times. Yeah, Deb, and they actually detail it all in these court documents. Investigators say that Bontan Somsanuk repeatedly bought Oregon Trail cards for half of their value, and officers claim that food stamp fraud can ultimately lead to drug dealing, identity theft, and overall it affects the livability of neighborhoods. I'm shocked, actually. Kathy Calcano says the Oriental Market has been a tenant in her building for at least six years. You had no idea that was going on inside your building? No, I mean, she just seemed like a nice lady. She was always good to us. And, you know, she did complain about, you know, business being down, which is, you know, pretty typical with everything. Now owner, 54-year-old Boonton Somsanuk, is behind bars for food stamp fraud. Undercover officers say over five months, they sold her more than $5,000 in benefits through food stamps. So let's say undercover officers came into the store with an Oregon Trail card worth $100. They say the suspect offered to buy it in cash for half the value. So we're talking about, in this case, $50. And exchanging the card for cash is illegal. The Oriental Market was actually disqualified from the food stamp program back in 2004, according to these court documents, because of a program violation. Police say that when the suspect was allegedly buying the cards from them that she then used them at other area stores. I mean, I make so little money, I can't afford to go through and buy groceries otherwise. As someone who relies on his benefits, Christopher Allen is upset about the allegations. That does kind of mess it up so they can't afford to give it to people. Next thing you know, I'll find cut mine off. And Calcano says she's simply shocked. Yeah, we'll definitely tighten things down and do a better check on people. Now, we tried to contact the suspect's family, but they didn't want to speak. Again, the suspect is behind bars tonight. Investigators say that this kind of fraud could land Samsonuk a maximum of 20 years in prison and a pretty hefty fine. We're talking about $250,000. It hurts people in the short run and the long run when you, when you look at this yeah, case. All Thanks. over the place. Megan, thank you.